Hey guys, so this video I'm going to show you how I made this cup. And it is a Coraline cup, but a creepier version. So I wanted to do more of the Beldum. I wanted to include more of the Beldum on this cup. I actually made this sticker on Design Space, on Cricut Design Space, and it says Beldum Brew. I sell this sticker on my Etsy shop, so I will link that down below. Um, right here, this is vinyl, and it says Coraline. I actually downloaded this font for free. It's called Coraline Cat. And this picture right here I got on Etsy. It is this girl that sells her digital, or not her digital, um, her prints. And I really like this one, so I asked her if she would sell me a digital print, and she did. So her name is Chloe Chanata. Hopefully I'm not butchering it, but I will link her, her information down below. And if you guys are interested, hopefully she'll do the same for you. Um, I added this other mother's spider hand or claw. And that's pretty much it. I added glitters. All right, so the glitters I used are Martha Stewart Super Fine Glitter and a, a dark purple black mix. Also used this glitter I got from Hobby Lobby. That's just a mixture of teal and black. And this color changing powder. So when I bought this, I thought it changed colors when you put cold liquids. Unfortunately, it's actually when you pour hot liquids. So, and it doesn't necessarily change colors. It just disappears once the hot liquid is poured in, which kind of is a bummer because this is a cold cup, but oh well. Okay, so I'm applying epoxy like I normally would and I'm adding two little scoops of this color changing powder and you want to mix very well make sure it all mixes together mix slowly and once you're done you can go ahead and apply it on your cup make sure to wear gloves I mix 10 millimeters of part A and 10 millimeters of part B I'm putting in my glitter the amount is completely up to you I put a little bit of the purple and the turquoise and black it wasn't sealed properly so it got all over the place and I also put the rest of the little sample pack that I got um, I want I wanted to put glitter because when you pour hot liquid into the cup the color will turn transparent and I really want that glitter to show through
look spotty right here, but as soon as it starts drying, it will start to all blend together. As soon as you're done with the cup, you want to let it dry for at least 24 hours. After that, you are good to put on your design, stickers, or anything you want on your cup. I printed this image out on sticker paper. It's actually vinyl sticker paper. Okay, so for putting on her spider hand, I had to be very care careful to make sure that the transfer tape didn't really stick on the sticker too much or else it would just lift up the ink. All right, so now I am just sealing it with resin and I ran out of gloves, otherwise I would be using gloves. Um, you wanna make sure you use gloves when applying the resin or epoxy. After you're done sealing it with epoxy or resin, you want to let it dry for at least 24 hours. As you can see, the color is starting to fade as the water is going in. I think it looks really cool and better than I expected. All right, this is it. So hopefully you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.